mellow right here. Look at that. Let me get a close up of that. Look, look at how rotten that wood is right there. I mean, there's nothing there left of the beam. Surprised it hasn't actually collapsed. So, looks like we're going to be finishing up the remodel on the inside to move outside uh, because this deck is going to come down. Um, the only support piece that's not failing is one down on this end right down here. Between those two posts, it looks like it's doing okay, but every one of these others, if you look at them, they're all kind of settling and the metal's um, getting crimped. See how this is all crimped right here and buckled up? So this deck is in bad need of reframing and redoing. So anyways, if we get a chance to do that for these guys in the near future, we'll videotape putting this whole new deck together for you. Two months later. Okay. We're back at the clubhouse because I showed you, you saw earlier in this video, the, um, the rotting beams that are going on. This deck is about ready to fall off. And my homeowners are really concerned about this winter when we get a foot of snow on this deck, they're afraid it'll just fall right off the house. And so we're going to totally tear this deck off and start over because it's really in bad shape. If you, if you look down across this deck, you can see, see the, the waves in the deck. It just waves because all the structure of the deck underneath it is rotting. I'm actually a little nervous to be up here myself. And, and I'm trying to be twinkle toes and be light because this deck is in really bad shape. And um, it actually started to fall even worse while we were finishing the inside of the house. And so... The last little bit, I've been putting together a deck design and, and, and a budget and everything for them. This, uh, we're going to do the deck exactly the way it is when we finish it. And then we're going to actually put a bridge off the other end of the deck to get over to the back door of the garage. I'll show you that in a second. This stairway is really in bad shape because it just moves and rattles as you're walking up and down these stairs. And I'm going to show you underneath how bad the stringers are that are supporting the treads. It's it's just um, when we came to go up the stairs to video, I said one person at a time because this is a really scary stairway. So I'm going to go down, and then we're going to come down. And I'm going to show you underneath the deck and how bad all the structure of the deck is. So we're now we're underneath the stairway, and look at how bad this this looks like a banana. This middle um, stringer. And the whole deck, the whole thing moves. Look at this is falling down right here. It's all rotten right here. You know, there's nothing holding up that tread. It's really bad. It's been here for about 25 years. And no flashing or anything was done to kind of keep it taken care of over time. And so it's just rotting. In fact, we were trying to figure out what these were for. So I just pulled this board out a few minutes ago and... You can see they didn't get their footings in the right elevation, so they stick above the concrete. So, anyways, we're gonna get rid of all these. They're they're kind of ugly. So let's walk. Let's walk over here. I want to show you more of the um, how bad the structure is of the deck. Right here is where I showed you earlier, where the lumber was rotting. See how bad that is? Can you get up in there and see that? I mean, the, the, the wood is just coming apart. I can stick my finger right through it, my hands right through it. And then you can see, see this buckling that's right here above the post? It's kind of happening on every one of these posts. See right here? It's, it's, it's all buckled. It's all settled down right here. And it's pretty much doing it all the way along. And if you look up here, at these joists, they're really rotten, really bad. And so we're gonna replace the whole thing. We're gonna replace, this is called the ledger board right here. We're gonna replace all of that. Um, and there should be more bolts. Do you see those bolts right there? There should be two rows of bolts, about 32 inches on center for that. And look at this over here. This is, this is where we put some, lumber in to try and support the deck because this beam's not doing anything anymore and uh even that's bowed it's crazy we're gonna have to um 
there's two vents that are coming out from the furnace in the basement. We're gonna have to, we'll probably cut those off right back here while we're build, rebuilding the deck and then put them back on again. Anyways, I'm excited. We get to tear this deck all apart and we'll probably start in the next week or so and start pulling everything off and and uh, we're gonna do it all new. We're gonna put all the right flashings in so that the deck will last for a long, long time to come. Oh my goodness, have I got some stuff to show you about this deck. If you look, look at how rotten, look all the way down there. Look how rotten all that wood is. And then they did some funky stuff here with the plywood to try and, and make it uh, furred out so they could make it look as wide as the posts. But this is crazy. Look at this right here. Look how bad this is. That's what that's what's left of um, a two by ten. Look at that. There's nothing to it. Just garbage. And then they put this plywood on here to kind of fur it out to make it look thicker, make the beams look thicker than the posts. But then they didn't do anything to keep it from getting wet. So water just kept getting trapped in there on the metal covering that was on there. And so, man, it's amazing that it hasn't fallen down already. You know, this is this is really bad. Look at all the crap that's on the ground just from the just from taking it apart. So really nasty. I mean, I, I've never. I've never seen it so bad. This is terrible. So we're going to try and go up the stairs. I'm a little nervous about going up the stairs. But we'll show you what they've got done so far on the demo when we go upstairs. So I'm a little nervous about going up these stairs. I've just tried to look. It looks to me like maybe the right side's a little bit more sturdy than the left side. So I'm going to try and stay on the right side. But, um, yeah, that... That's all falling in right there. I'm going to skip this step. But one of the things I want to show you, I'm going to sit down for a second to see this right here. Those are hornets' nests or yellow jackets. And right in, right in here along this beam, you can, you might still be able to see a few bees floating around. But there's a huge nest in there. And one of my guys that was doing the demo took his hammer and pulled the aluminum up, the metal covering the wood. And it, I now understand better the term stirring up a hornet's nest because they went crazy. They started chasing us. I got bit or stung four times on my arm, right, right here, all in the same place almost. And he got stung a few more times. And then um, we're going to show you a picture of the homeowner. They came out at midnight and sprayed um, for the bees and and it's a really funny picture because they have they put all this garb on and clear face mask stuff on so that they could try and do it without getting stung but there's been a, a number of us have got stung a bunch of times trying to deal with this and even now the nest is gone and we've sprayed it a bunch of times and this dang things are still hanging around so anyways it's been a fun experience that way i wish i had video rolling when we did it but it didn't happen so we're upstairs on the top of the deck now, and you can see we've been we've gotten some of the decking material down. It's kind of a pain in the neck because you have to undo each and every screw to get it out. Um, but so it's a bit of a process, but we're getting there, getting going. Um, our lumber is supposed to be delivered this afternoon to start rebuilding the deck, and so hopefully we'll be framing, reframing here in a couple of days, and I'll shoot some more video of of the framing being done, but uh, this is quite the project. Hi there. So I'm not on screen because my daughter's not with me to videotape us. I just came up to check on this job and I just felt like I really wanted to show you kind of the, uh, this, the status of what's going on here. So we've got, uh, you know, a large portion of the deck tore down. We still have the, all the ledger and stuff to take off the wall, but the damage that is was done here. I'm surprised this deck was still standing, to be honest with you. If you look right in here, you can see that the posts were completely rotten, just totally rotten. And uh, some of these post anchors that are in the tops of these sauna tube footings 
were even rusted out completely. And so look at all this, all the, all the damage that's in this wood. This wood, especially the posts and the beams that were supporting the deck were all rotten. I mean, check this out. Look how bad that is. Totally rotten. We've had a huge windstorm here in the in Utah um, about a week ago that uh, there's over a thousand trees lost just in the Salt Lake area alone. My, my customers didn't lose any trees, but they had one that was leaning over, but still totally amazing that they didn't lose, that this deck hasn't fallen down. We had an earthquake a while ago and it's just crazy. We had scaffolding on this deck when we were replacing windows, but look at that. Look at that post right there again. Look how, I mean, this stuff is rotten. It's like powder almost, it's so crazy. See that post right there? Oh my goodness. So I just wanted to show you, you know, what we've been discovering as we uh, have been tearing down this deck. So anyways, this is a little quick update here, but I'm sorry, I don't have my usual best camera person here. But anyways, there you have it. We've got everything all cleaned up. Got most of all the rotten wood hauled out and we got our lumber dump and it's in the way to get our dump trailer here, but uh, looks, <laughs> already looks a lot better. We're gonna take this ledger board off and remove it so that we can uh, put new ledger board on and everything's gonna be new. You can see that, the, remember those uh, little boxes that were around the bottom of the posts? So we, we removed the, um, boxes in these sauna tubes stick up and so we're going to cut them off um, we don't want them sticking up over the deck so we're going to cut them off so that uh, our, our new posts are just flush with the with the patio so um, my saw cut guys here are getting ready to get started right now and we're going to do that and then we're ready to start framing There you have it. One down, seven to go, or six to go. We've been pretty busy here at the uh, clubhouse getting this decking done. And so you can see we've got it all cleaned up, all the yucky, mildewy, moldy, rotten wood out of the way. And we cut down the sauna tubes. You can see that we got those cut down all the way across. So they're pretty close to flush. The concrete's not flat, so we couldn't make them flat. but uh, it looks really good, but then we got the framing. Most of the deck joists are up. If you look right up here, you can see this white flashing up here. I have this custom made to go over the top of the beams so that it'll keep moisture from sitting on top of those beams. Then we're going to wrap these beams with um, aluminum in one piece. It'll go kind of a U-shaped piece. It'll go all the way around. And so and that'll tuck up underneath here. And so it'll make it really watertight so no water will be able to get in there. And any of these joints, like you see a joint right here, that's all silicone. So we don't have to worry about any moisture issues or anything like that. And so um, the joists, come over here for a second, Jess. So if you look up here, you can see that the joists are being put on with these L clips. And those are all, wherever we put screws in, it, we're siliconing them so there's no so any of the screw holes there's no uh potential for moisture to get in there and so anyways if you, if you look down here we got most of the joists up we have a few of the uh, ones on the on the bay window that would aren't up yet because i hadn't gotten them the right brackets yet but they're here now so um and if we come down here you can see the um we're gonna the extension or the addition to the deck that we're gonna do Watch my head. So over here, the deck is going to end right here where the where the end, end of the house is. But then we're going to put a bridge over to the back door of the garage. So this is the this is the first beam to put up to kind of help us start figuring out exactly where we want everything to go. We'll have to put a new footing in right here 
where this is going. Um, but uh, right here, where I'm standing, from this point down is going to be the stairway. We'll come back down onto the patio. And so, um, so the stairway will come off of that beam, and then that beam will continue over, and then we'll have that bridge. So it'll be pretty cool. I'm excited to see this come together. I just ordered all the decking material. It's going to be delivered on the, um, in a few days. We're almost done putting this deck back together. You can see that all the decking material is down, but we don't have any railing yet. They've measured for the railing, but my railing guys, the wrought iron railing that we're putting up is going to be really cool, but they're out about two and a half weeks. And so it's going to be a little bit longer before we get this completely done. Um, I forgot I had the stucco guys here the other day, but I forgot to have them fix this. We damaged the stucco trim right there on both sides um, when we were demoing the original deck. But check this out, how cool this is. This is, we did a, a border of a lighter color all the way around the deck. And so it goes all the way around the edges. And um, then if you come over here, it continues around this way. Check out our stairway. Really nice looking stairway. And I'll give you a shot of it from the bottom too because because we have, um, it's not open on the risers. We closed it so it looks really nice. But over here on the bridge, it wasn't really wide enough to do a double border like we had. So we did, we kind of had to transition it to a single border. But I think it turned out nice. It looks good. And we have our bridge over to the back door of the garage now. So you see we put these, they make a riser material. This product is Timber Tech. And if you're wondering what color it is, this is brown oak. And uh, But they make a riser material so that we can enclose the stairs. A lot of decks, they don't have this piece on. And so it's open. A lot of people don't like walking upstairs where this is open. It scares them. So, so this is all enclosed and it looks really nice. And then all of the exposed lumber you see here on the posts and the beam, some guys are coming here in the next uh, week or so, and they're going to cover it all with white metal so it'll look really nice and finished and be protected as well. So I'm excited with the way it's turning out. It's looking really good. I, we're almost there, uh, and we'll be able to show you this finished deck here shortly. We finally finished the deck. And um, it's taken us about two months longer to finish it than what we anticipated because of the railings. Um, but doesn't it look great? It looks amazing. If you look at the railings, this is this pattern that they chose where the balusters don't come all the way up. We have this um, open spot at the top. The reason for that was so that they have a great view. <laughs> Show them the view. They have a great view of the Great Salt Lake and and they get to watch all the storms rolling in and there's a golf course right here. And so they felt like this would give them a little bit more view from inside the house without having the ballast just go all the way up and they love it, it looks great. This is wrought iron um, railing and the company that I use is really, really good at, at what they do and therefore they're super, super busy. And then uh, it took me several weeks to just get them to be able to come out and measure because this home was a little bit on the north end of their territory. But also in the middle of this, their shop got COVID. And so they lost a, a couple weeks and had to cut their work crew down significantly. And there's only one fabricator that makes this inside their shop that makes this style of rail. So anyways, we finally got it done. It looks fantastic. But you know, one of the things I love about this decking material is it's timber tech and it comes in so many different colors, but I love the border that we did. And, and this material has the two-tone in it, so it has a little bit more realistic look to it. So it looks awesome. And um, I wanted to show you some of the flashing that we did. See this flashing right here? That's all caulked into this, the stucco. And so, and it comes down and on top of the ledger board. So the ledger board will have no water getting on it, which is what attaches it to the house. 
you remember earlier in this video, you saw how rotten all the wood was because none of it was flashed correctly. Um, the original deck stopped right here, stopped here at the edge of the house. In fact, you can still see somewhere where, where some of the, where the uh, railing went into it. So what we did is, of course, we did all of it, that uh, PVC or vinyl fencing, whatever railing that was up here is scary. You wouldn't want to even lean on it. So I'm glad that we talked them into doing the wrought iron railing. So we totally redid the stairway. And then we added this section here because before to get from the garage onto the deck or into the back of the house, you had to walk all the way around and go up the stairs. And now we added this little bridge right here that makes it so that you can get to the, to the garage or the garbage cans right off the deck without having to go down and up and around. So I think this turned out really nice. Um, because it's narrower here, we had to transition instead of a double border to a single border. And I think the transition turned out really nice as well. They're super happy. We totally remodeled the inside of their house. And now I got to redo this deck for them. And I'm super excited about it. I want to take you under the deck and show you some of the other cool things that we've done to preserve this deck and make it last long. Um, we wrapped all of the posts and the new beams in metal just like it was before, but this time it was it's done right. If you look up here, we have this custom drip edge that I made, and the metal is in one piece that goes over, up, and down, and so it's underneath here, so there's no water that can get into this. Any screws that we put in at the top down into it to hold the deck joists in place were all um, went through a dollop of silicone. So it's sealed, everything's sealed on the top. And so no moisture can get down inside of here and then sit there and rot the, the wood. But the, the metal turned out really nice. All the posts are the same way. There's, there's a seam on here, but we caulked it as well. So again, no metal can get in here and it looks really super nice. Do you remember we had to cut down those sauna tubes earlier because they were sticking up way above the patio and you can see how we've cut those down and what a huge difference it makes instead of having that build up around it and those big tall sauna tubes. So it turned out really super nice. This has been a great project. It's been so fun to put this deck back together and make it even way nicer than it was because what it was was falling apart. And it's been a fun project to restore this deck. They're gonna, they're so looking forward to having fun out here this summer. If you'd like seeing the transformation of this deck from the old to the new, we'd appreciate if you like our video and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of fun showing you what we do. So keep an eye out for us.